So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it is review day. So I am going to review on the NYX Stay Matte but Not Flat Liquid Foundation. This is in the color 10. And I got this uh, from shoppingdistrict.net. If you guys haven't seen the review, I'll put the link down below so you guys can see it. So I will do a review on this one because I've been wanting to try a matte foundation and we will see how matte this is. So hi, okay, so I'm gonna just clip my hair back first. And I've already primed and moisturized and put UV cream on my face, so we're just going to go with the just pour a bit on my hands. Yep, that will be enough. Just like that. Okay, so far as I can see, it is not too runny and it's not too like... It's not too runny actually, but it's, it's also not too um, thick. So I will just dot it all over my face. As you can see, I do have a little thingy, a little pimple that is trying to party around. So we will see how it covers up. I'll be using my beauty blender. Okay, the color is really nice. It's really my color. Remember to blend in into your hairline so you don't look like a flying monkey. So done. So far, the coverage is not really full. It's medium coverage. I can definitely still see like a few of my veins, and it doesn't have a matte finish as of yet it's a bit uh, dewy but I really like the coverage of it um, I mean the feel of it it's not sticky or anything and it seems really really nice so yeah and you look kind of flawless too so that's amazing so as in you see it doesn't really cover my pimple also I'm just gonna put a bit more on top how it covers okay definitely not a full coverage foundation it is more of a middle medium medium coverage and yeah and it's not a matte finish as of yet it is kind of a dewy finish so so yeah Okay, so I'll just finish up the entire phase of makeup and so I'll hey guys, I finish up all my makeup, put a little bit of bronzer, set it with powder and blush and all the other good good stuff. So, so far I'm liking the finish of it. It's definitely not matte for me because I'm really a very oily, oily, oily kind of girl. So, it is kind of dewy. It is not that full coverage. It's obviously like a medium coverage and so far mm, so good uh, the other products just blend really like right into it so that's really really nice so yeah I will do like a full-on review and follow through together with me and so far I'm liking the foundation because the color is good color really matches me and it's really rare for me to find a foundation that matches my skin tone and yeah so far so good loving it it's not it's definitely not matte on my face definitely not matte so now is 10 51 so yeah 
I will bring you all together with me today I'm gonna do like a whole um, I have some errands to do and I'm gonna meet my boyfriend later also so I will bring you all together through this day and we will see how this foundation lasts whether there is some patchiness and after the whole day has ended I will give you a whole entire review on what I feel about this product okay, and I'm here for the review bag now it's 4.45 it's about 5 hours since I have this makeup honestly it's very very oily but it's not that oily like it's a dewy kind of finish but it, it didn't end in a matte finish anyways so yeah I'll update you guys later it's jam currently jam right now oily but blush and brown is anyways oh we celebrated uh, total defense day and I want to show, I want to show the There we go My handsome boyfriend Look, 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 it looks so good Six, nine, I'm gonna eat I'm gonna eat I'm gonna eat later Where's your watch? 7.15 um, 11 hours? No. no A few hours Oily Not bad though A few hours what? Do, do my makeup look good? Really? I think I'm about ready you <laughs> So hey guys, hopefully this is not that dark I did have some lighting over, going on over here So I'm just going to give you my final review on the NYX Stay Matte but not flat liquid foundation um, as you can see I am kind of like a grease ball and it is 8.35 now so I've had this foundation about 8 hours about 9 to 10 hours around there so I have not touched up a bit at all but honestly the products really stick on the face like you can still see a bit of my blush and my bronzer but I feel like you know there's just like natural highlight here because <laughs> my face is like grease ball honestly um, I don't mind this foundation because I've tried other foundations which showed my oil oiliness like way more than this foundation so I feel like this foundation is not too bad but it is of course not matte at all it didn't finish up in a matte finish it was a bit dewy and it didn't like it didn't prevent the oil from seeping out like the oil managed to break loose and yeah but so far I guess I will I will rate this about 6 out of 10 because the color is really really nice the consistency is nice it's not too thick and not too thin as you can see right there okay wait, let me just zoom you in so it is very very nice there you go and it doesn't look like you're wearing a whole bunch of makeup um, you can touch it up it is not full coverage Sadly, it's not full coverage. It says that it is full coverage, but it's not. It is medium coverage, but you can build it up and Yeah, I guess that's it 
it has a very nice finish. I really like the way it sets and you know the bronzer is still there so Let's just see. talk a bit about the product. This is if you I think I've said it earlier in this video but if I haven't I'll just say it. It is oil free, water based, full coverage, mineral and rich and matte finish. It is not really all of it, like it doesn't really cover half of the five things that they offer and I'll just tell you the normal thing this is in the color 10 right here it's in 0910 and this has 35 ml or 1.18 fluid ounce and this is cruelty free so all NYX I think all NYX products are all cruelty free it has I think there is about 10 shades if I'm not wrong yes positive 10 shades but in the website that I got this was the darkest shade that they offered but yeah in different websites they have different um, pricing and different color range that they provide for you so I got this from shoppingdistrict.net if you haven't seen my review on that online shop I'll put the link down below so you guys can see it and yeah I bought this for $12 I know they have like, um, you know they have this kind of shops, little shops or some preview that they have in different malls every single week. It sells about $20 so it's really expensive so I would really uh, encourage you to get it from Shopping District because they have it at only at $12 which is really cheap and affordable I feel as compared to the drugstore products So that is all for today's review. If you like me doing reviews, do thumbs it up and do comment down below on the things that you want me to review on. I'm glad and I'll be so happy to do the review for you. Next up, I will probably do a lipstick review because I've been wanting to try this lipstick. I've only used it once and I want to try and see how long it will wear. So do stay tuned for that video. In the meantime, you know, just subscribe and then thumbs up this video if you really like it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay kind to one another and stay fancy. Bye!